Hello, I'm Super Taiwan and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum Randomize. Last time we left off, we did a bit more in like training. Like, we got a pretty balanced team so far. Like, I still want to try and replace either Toot Toot or Fluff Balls with something else if. But who knows what they evolve into, so. Maybe it'll be good. But in the meantime, we have a gym to battle all the way down here. The Eterna Gym, which should normally be a grass type. I haven't fought any of the trainers here, so... Let's do this thing, I guess. <laughs> Last Pansy with a Beldum, huh? So this is going to be either a Steel or a Psychic type gem. I mean, I have Heat Wave here, which will help against Steel types. Not so much in the way of against Psychic types, though. And also, that was extremely strong. Hmm. This looks like it's gonna be a pain. But, no worries. I still have more tricks up my sleeve. Oh yeah, I don't want to use Megahorn because Megahorn has the exact same power and accuracy as Bug Bite. But Bug Bite has the additional effect of taking berries. Oh, of course it has poison point. It's a big it's a giant floating metal eyeball with an arm attached to its back. Of course it will have poison point. It totally makes sense, right? <laughs> Oh well. Some good XP at least. Bringing Metagard up to level 15. Laron. Okay. This is confirmed a steel type gym. Which means it might still be a pain since I don't really have much to counter steel types apart from that heat wave and I don't think I have any ground moves either hmm well we'll just have to get through these trainers and see what happens really speed boost that could prove quite a problem indeed, actually. Let's just keep going and hope for the best. Hmm. Fluffball doesn't really have much, have anything that can do anything here. Like, Laron is a steel and rock type. Four times strong against my these normal and flying moves here. I mean, I can try and get crits with Slash, but even that probably won't do too much. Well, let's just hope. <laughs> yeah, that did nothing. But then again, I'm also burned, but... I can take one more Iron Tail, but I'll switch out. Because Fluffball needs XP to evolve. When does Swaplu evolve again? I think it's pretty late since it evolves into Altaria normally. So I'm gonna keep it alive so it can get as much XP as possible, really. Oh, of course it has. 
Well, that's right. Rock moves aren't very... Um, are they neutral to grass types, or is it bug type they're super effective against? I've forgotten. Like, I always mix up those two. Really? Like, it's such a pain. But it worked out well for us in the end. And see, Fluffball leveled up. Alright. Okay. Tick tock clock, well, will you stop? When will you stop? Quarter past six, huh? Well, let's go peel back up first. Also, apologies if you can hear that. Frickin' neighbors being loud like normal. It's such a pain, really. But there isn't really much I can do about it, unfortunately. Anyway, let's go back to the gym and fight the next trainer. Since we actually have to fight all of the trainers in this gym for the clock to actually get to where it needs to be. Roma Lady Stacy with another Beldum. This one's only level 15 now, so it's slightly easier. Slightly. Not too much, but makes things just that much better. But boy, does that payback hurt. Come on now, Meta God. Good thing Beldum is part psychic type, so Metagod's uh, bug moves can still do some decent damage. Oh, of course the poison point activates instantly like that. Like, what kind of luck is this AI having? Oh well. Let's just go with another bug bite, I guess. Alright. Uh, Bronzor. Again, another Steel and Psychic type. This time we're going to use the U-Turn. It's a little bit stronger than a bug bite. And it also one shot too. I guess Bronzer's defense is really bad. Or HP. Or even both. Who knows? Swirly and Matata need HP um, levels. So let's try and get some for them. Another Bronzor? Shouldn't be a problem. I think Metalla has stuff that can, yeah, revenge. Revenge will do some damage. A lot of damage, in fact. But what will this do, I wonder? Not too much. That's fine. That's not quite as fine, but luckily enough I hit this time, so we're good. Alright, where will the clock stop this time, I wonder? To quarter past nine. 
and the water has dropped so I can actually backtrack like so so I can heal back up yeah I know I'm poisoned but that's why I'm healing back up so <laughs> one step away I'm glad in Gen 4 they changed the mechanic so that um, poison in the overworld can't actually make your Pokemon faint. It'll just stop them at 1 HP and then the poison vanishes. Unlike in the first three gens where it just kept going and going. So if you didn't have any antidotes or any way to heal your Pokémon, then you're pretty much screwed. Metang, huh? That's a bit more stronger than uh, Beldum. How much stronger though, I wonder? Quite a bit stronger. Like, that didn't do much at all. Let's put it to sleep. Now uh, stay asleep please, because I don't want you hurting me. I feel like your big spiky fists are going to hurt a lot. Like look at them. It's just giant metal spiky fists. Being punched by them would hurt a lot. No, don't wake up. Okay, it didn't attack. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Or not, but I only did 10 damage. Well, works for me. And that's a lot of XP. Bringing Tutu up to level 16. And that was it, apparently. And... On goes the clock again. To... Quarter... To twelve. And down goes the water again. I don't actually need to go back and heal up. I can just use an orange berry to heal that 10 HP back up like so. Oh, 